Hey, this is Brother Jeff. I'm going to show you how to get started with the new Lectora Interactions. If you hover over Activities, come down to Lectora Interactions. You can see all the different Lectora Interactions that are built straight in Lectora. And I'm going to show you how to get started to uh, start updating these and using these inside of your own Lectora. Uh, your own Lectora course here. So if you click on any of these interactions, it'll give you a preview of what the interaction looks like, how it functions, and this will give you a good idea of the types of things that you can build inside of Lectora and uh, the types of templates that we've built that you can start from and just edit it with your own content. Now if I come over to the right hand side, you'll notice a couple things. We have the tab button source. Uh, which actually gives me the source files to any of these buttons so I can edit them inside of Photoshop and then bring new versions, new colors, and everything right inside of Lectora. Uh, I also have the project files, which is an actual Lectora course that you can open it up and you can copy that page from one project to another project, and I'll show you how to do that. The last thing is the library object. Now, if you double click on this, you can actually import it as one of your library objects inside of Lectora itself. I usually like to stick with the project files, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on the download project files. And this is going to download uh, a file to or a project to my actual course. Now, even if I'm already building a project and I just want to incorporate one of these into my existing project, I can still open up this project in a new version of Lectora and then just copy and paste into my current project. This is just kind of a way to for me to start out there. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Lectora and I'm going to open up a new copy of Lectora um, and a new title and I'm going to import this file inside of uh, Lectora, this project. So I'm going to hit browse and now I'm going to go find that project um, on my desktop and I'm going to go open that project up inside of Lectora. Now I can edit the content before I bring it over if I wanted to or I can just copy and paste this page over to my new project. Now you'll notice a couple things. I can minimize some of this to make it uh, look a little bit more readable here. Uh, we have a couple different sections, a couple different groups within groups and everything inside of here. Uh, you'll notice our introduction content has our intro text. Our tab buttons has uh, each button with an upstate and also has the uh, title for that button, uh, animated GIF for this little mouse icon, and then the actual button itself, which is um, allows us to uh, trigger different things, which if I select the drop down box, you'll notice all the different triggers that it has uh, that I, if I wanted to, I can come in here and I can edit these different triggers on what's happening. It also goes through and it triggers a, a group of triggers, which is up on the top here where we have hide tab content actions group. And this will run a couple different uh, uh, actions and hide different things so you can go in there and you can edit it. Now you don't have to do the actions. We've already set up the actions to work um, exactly how uh, this tab interaction should function. So really the only thing you need to do is to come into the intro text and just come over here and start typing out your own text. So I'm going to say this is my text file and I can type in whatever I want. Okay, so I'm going back into my introduction text. I can insert other images. Now if you have more than one object, if you just want to move one object, hold down the Alt tab and that will actually move just whatever object that you have selected instead of moving all the objects in the group, which it does by default. Uh, but I can come in here, change out my text, and then I can come into my tab content. If I come into my tab content, you'll notice that these different objects are hidden by default. If I select one of those objects, I can come in and change out the text for this content. So if I wanted to change out the text, that's all I have to do is highlight the, the text that I want to edit, go ahead and edit it, and then hide it again so I can see other objects as well. And that's pretty much all that I have to do to, if I just wanted to do some simple text edits or with the group selected I can insert images so these images would actually show. Um, let me insert another image here, change that, and I'm going to uh, show the tab 2 content so I can see the image. And I'm going to resize this image, hold down the Alt key or Option key, and then that way I can move everything or just move one object inside of the group instead of moving everything inside of the group. And now if I go ahead and uh, hide that content too, whenever I preview it, let's go ahead and preview this to going into view, preview in browser, 
And now if I hit content two, that image is going to show along with my text. So that's how I can insert with whatever uh, content section I have selected, I can insert that. Now if I want to take this page and paste it into an existing project, all I have to do is uh, come over to the page, hit select and hit control C or uh, command C if you're on a Mac. And then you can come over to the existing project that you have and then go ahead and hit control V. So there we go. As soon as I've pasted it, I've replaced the content. I have this page and all of its contents inside of my uh, existing course. I have other pages in this course. And you'll notice I have a background in other pages for this course uh, that's very um, specific and it basically ties in all my other pages. So I could come over to this project and I could come over to the content background and just hit the delete button and that would actually, oh, not that content background, I would have to come into the page background. So the page background layer, instead of the content background, um, I would just come over, select the page background, hit delete, and that way it's, uh, it's going to use my player background rather than my actual uh, specific page background. Now, anything that I've done inside of here, let's go ahead and just preview this. Any changes that I made in my last project will automatically get copied over. So if I hit Stab 2, I still see my image. Everything is inside of there. But that's how I get started with using that type of interaction. Now, same goes with any other type of interaction inside of Lectora. Let's use something that's a little bit different. Let's use this timeline interaction. So I'm going to download this timeline interaction. And I'm going to open this up as a separate project, a separate title uh, inside of Lectora. And so let's go ahead and close out this one that we were working with, with the tabs. And let's open up another project. Go to my desktop, come down to timeline, open up the timeline project. And this one, I do have a little bit more content. You can see all my timeline, my point, my points, uh, my content. If I uh, preview this out, so I can hide different things, uh, show different things as well. And so, but it works the same exact way. I can copy this, paste it in, and delete the background so it all matches with my current project. Um, but all of my content is contained within these different pages in whatever project that I'm working with inside of Lectora. So that's how you get started with the Lectora interactions inside of Lectora um, using some of the e-learning e brothers template library Lectora interactions.